This is Veronica Ross, live from Metro Manila. Things have taken a turn for the worse as a house goes up in flames. The fire had startled the rest of the neighborhood and neighbors from across the street have come out to aid the tenants of the household. Let's speak to the person in the burning building itself, Ms. Aguilar. Good afternoon, Ms. Aguilar. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. Do you know what caused this fire? Yes, it was a stove left open, and I think my sister might have forgotten to turn it off. And what seems to be the problem now? Well, besides our burning house, this four-digit passcode is keeping us from exiting the premises. I see. What makes this lock so hard to open? Well, my mother is the only person who knows the four-digit passcode that allows her petitions. And she's out of town. Oh no! That's so unfortunate. He's here, the firefighter, just in time. Sir, may we have a moment of your time? Sure, what can I do for you? Do you know how to open this lock? I am but a regular firefighter. I don't have any knowledge about permutations and combinations, but I will try my best. None of my guesses seem to work. This is so hard. What is so hard about the task? How can I solve this if I don't know how many possibilities a four-digit passcode that allows repetition has? We're doomed. Who will help us now? Don't worry. I'll call some backups. And to your left is the Monument of Rizal. And to your right, is that a burning house? Whoa, look, there's even a woman's stuff in there. Hey, Eliza, don't say that. That's not the true values of a La Salva student. Sir, miss, we have a moment of your time. Of course. Hey, wait, Mr. Dennis, look, we're on TV. Oh, hi, my name is Mr. Dennis, a math teacher. A math teacher? Yes, a math teacher. What do you mean? There's a four-digit passcode that allows repetitions here. Do you think you'll be able to open it? Hmm. Think about it, Mr. Dennis. Maybe you can use the math formula you taught us in class. Oh, just like combinatorics. Since this is a field trip, maybe this is the best way for you to learn. Let's try it. First, we must figure out how many possibilities there are. FCP, combinatorics, permutations, combinations. <gasps> the power of mathematics. I know now. There are 10,000 possibilities! Let's try a few. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, but it's not me who's the hero. It is mathematics. Well, that is one problem solved. Some problems have heated up, but math saves the day. In order for a lock to be open, one must consider the situation at hand. The numbers that the lock utilizes and how many times the said numbers are important in seeking the password. In this case, since it is a lock that allows repetitions and makes use of the numbers 0 to 9, the number of possibilities is 10,000. With the number of possibilities in mind, one can now start unlocking the password that works. That is it for this story. More firefighters are expected to arrive anytime soon. Remember to shut off your stove, everyone, and keep safe. This is Veronica Ross for Muse.